Hey everybody, it's me Joe and I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to have another listening puzzle full of vocabulary. And these words are all about school. All right. So school could be anything from uh, elementary school or high school, university or a college, uh, some, a trade school, anything. So there's a lot of different vocabulary out there. The vocabulary here, I'm going to concentrate on high school words and university words for you. Okay? Um, so pay attention to the clues. And if you guess the word that I'm talking about, then write it down below or write it on a piece of paper. See how well you do. Also, there are going to be two secret codes. All right? These are important because I want to know how far you're listening, all right? I, I help a lot of people online, but I really help the ones who watch the entire videos. And the way you can tell me that you've watched the whole video is if you tell me the secret codes, all right? That way I can help you more. If this is your first time here on my channel, welcome. My name's Joe, and you should subscribe to this channel so I can help you get better at English, okay? All right, let's get to those words. Here we go. The first word, uh, the meaning of it is pupil. That means a person in a class who's trying to learn. That could be any age. And it starts with the letter S. I think this is an easy one. You should be able to get this one. All right, start you off with an easy one. The second one. Second word is also very easy. It should be easy. This, this word means an educator or an instructor. That's what I am. And it starts with the letter T. If you're doing this at a university, you'd be called a professor. But otherwise, an instructor or an educator starts with T. Come on, you know this one. All right. Let's go on to the third word. The third word, this is a noun. It is an activity, but it's not a good one. It's bad. Teachers hate when students do this. All right, if you're doing this and a teacher catches you, you're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> and it starts with the letter C and people do it on tests. All right, see if you can figure that out. The next word, uh, it's, this is a little harder word. This is a kind of a degree at a university or it's a program. In this, you can get a bachelor's degree, okay? It, this degree comes before a master's degree, okay? A master's degree is called a graduate degree. This one is called a mm, all right? And it starts with the letter U. Might have to do some research to find that one out. It's a little more difficult, but it's a very important word in education. Okay, the next one. This one is number five, I think. Um, if you're in if you're in middle school or high school, a lot of times this happens. Uh, you get mm if you're a bad student. If you're late for class too much or you're doing something bad in class, you will have to stay late after school. Maybe do extra homework or just sit there and feel bad. <laughs> All right. The verb it comes from is to detain. That means to make people wait, to make them be late. All right. Uh, so if you're detained, the, this, the word I'm looking for is the noun and it's called this. So it's a kind of punishment for bad high school students. Starts with D. You might have to do research on that one. That one could be hard too. Okay, so here's the next word. All right, so this is word number six. This, this word refers to what, what level you are in university. In middle school, elementary school, high school, we talk about grades. You're in grade one, you're in grade seven, you're in grade 12. We say grade. But in university, we don't say grade. We say, what mm, are you in? Starts with the letter Y. 
And it can also talk about your freshman, mm, your sophomore, mm, all right, junior or senior, mm, starts with the letter Y. Do you have that one figured out yet? If you do, write it down below. All right, wow, we're already halfway through. If you're still here, fantastic. A lot of students give up, right? I don't know how you expect to get better at English if you can't even keep listening to a lesson for 10 minutes, but you're doing great. And the secret code that I'm gonna tell you, and I want you to send me a message on Instagram that you got it, is Joe loves teaching. All right, that's the first secret code. Now remember, I want you to keep on studying here and hear the second one, all right? That's important. Let's keep going. All right, the seventh word. This is, this is a, a word, it can be a verb, all right? And it means to not pass, to not succeed, okay? If you took a class and you didn't pass, you, mm. So what is that? And it starts with the letter F. Okay, I hope it hasn't happened to any of you, but maybe you know people. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, the next, the next word, okay. Uh, this is something, it's an adjective, and it's the opposite of low. And if someone, uh, if someone is really smart and they take an IQ test, and they get a great score, their sc they probably have a very mm IQ, and it starts with the letter H, right? If you get a great score on an IQ test, you have a mm IQ, starts with the letter H, all right? Okay, the next one might be a little harder. If you go to universities, there's different programs, okay? Uh, different majors. There is a science majors, right? Different study in different kinds of science. There's business majors studying different kinds of major, different kinds of business. A third uh, department is the M mm department, and it starts with the letter A. And that could include degrees like history, sociology, uh, English, okay? They are M mm majors. So, Starts with the letter A. I hope you can get it. All right, the next word. The next word. This is something that uh, often you'd find maybe in a high school or junior high. Some people are very good at studying, but some people are not. So some people can take the advanced class or academic class in math or English, okay? But other people have to take a very low class and it's a basic class for people who haven't learned the, the how to use, how to do math beforehand or how to do English beforehand. And it starts with the letter R. Okay, so it's the opposite of advanced. It's just kind of learning the basics. Okay, still an important class, still helpful, but it starts with the letter R. You might have to do research on that one to find out that word. Okay. All right, we're at the end. This is our last word, okay? When you go to university, usually the, f the maybe the first year, second year, you don't have to tell the university what your major is going to be. But when you do tell them what major you want, what's, what you want to specialize in, there's a special verb and it starts with the letter D. You mm your major, okay? And it means to say your major or announce your major, okay? But it starts with the letter D, okay? All right, I hope you got that one. Wow, you stayed all the way till now, fantastic. Now, can you guess, can you figure out what the second secret code is? I've given you lots of words, lots of letters. The, the, the second secret code has two words, and they come from the first, and they, they are spelled by the first letters of each one of those words. The problem is there's two extra words. You gotta throw those away. I've done this sort of thing before in other videos. All right, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There's 11 letters, throw two of them away, then you'll have nine letters, 
which spell two great words, which are the second secret code. If you can figure it out, then you are awesome. Please let me know because I want to congratulate you. All right, send me a message. All right, now everybody else, you've come this far. I'm going to put all the answers here. <laughs> all right, I put the answers after the secret code because so many people stop watching after the secret code. And I said, well, why didn't you stick around and watch the answers? So here are all the answers. You can go back and find out what they were. Now you know what they are. Okay, great. And if you're not too tired yet and you want to keep studying and you want to keep seeing my handsome face and cute beard <laughs> and a different shirt, click on one of these links that I'm putting up here and you can continue to study. All right, I want you guys to keep on learning every day. My best students on Instagram, they watch at least three videos a day. I hope you do the same. All right, that's it for now, everybody. Until next time, see you later.